Hi, welcome back and thank you for staying with us. So it is uh, about that time where we get to open mm -hmm. our phone lines. We have a topic to discuss and it's something that touches on everyone. Uh, yes, uh, so you have to feel free when you when we start the discussion. You can actually feel free. We'll display the phone line on the screen. You can actually call in and uh, have your say or send in messages on WhatsApp. Yes, yeah, so that uh, we, would have to, we, would, we would all be in this particular discussion together. We're still watching Daybreak Extra, and we're going to be talking about uh, polygamy today. Now, uh, a lot of people have different views about polygamy, and if you take a look at what's happening in uh, the world today, especially in um, the entertainment segment, mm -hmm. I'm talking about David Doe, I'm talking about Yule Doce, mm -hmm. you're not even talking about, uh, what's his name, uh, Two-Face, and then something that almost happened to Banky W. Mm. You know, you find out that... It's rampant, you know, it's really, really rampant. But, you know, when it comes to religion as well, some religions are for it and some religions are not for it. But then, you know, uh, polygamous unions are currently recognized under customary law throughout Nigeria, while civil marriage in Nigeria is monogamous. A dozen states and uh, counting have implanted Sharia into their legal system and which allows uh, polygamy. So... Now, talking about polygamy in Christianity, uh, the Bible, uh, not, not necessarily the Bible, Christianity actually forbids, you know, polygamy, marrying more than one wife. Well, you know, or what can we actually say? Uh, you're human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you feel like you do not want to, you know, atone the way of mm -hmm. religion, then you can actually do what you want. And that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people are actually doing. But when it comes to religion, it is solely against, you know, marrying more than one wife. And, and then for polygamy in Islam, uh, Islamic law allows polygamy only if it solves a problem. In other words, it allows a man to marry more than one wife, provided he'll treat them equally. If not, then only one is allowed. And, uh, but also, the custom of one man, many wives, is both traditionally and contemporarily acceptable by religion and different tribes in Nigeria and the world at large. You know. That's just what you were saying, uh, how religious, some religion supports this and other religions uh, frowns mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. it. So we'd like to know, what do you think about polygamy, right? Yes, uh, you know, there are lots of, before we actually open up the phone lines, there are lots of, uh, there are lots of things that comes with polygamy. And that's mm -hmm. why a lot of people are actually against it. You know, like you said, in Islam, it states if you can love them equally. equally. But how Provide for them equally. Providing for them equally is, you know, can be done. Just Are you that. sure? Yes. I don't think so. Yeah, it can be done. Providing for them equally. Yes, it can be done. Equally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it, it seems like you're actually talking about something different. <laughs> but what am I actually talking about? <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Oh, it's not. Goodness. You can't. You can't afford to provide for them equally, except if you're trying to uh, use Talk about their needs or material equity things. now. Yes, but if you say about. equality is not possible, mm -hmm. why is it? Is it because? Is it because? Uh, um, what the the needs of one person might be different from, from the needs the, of the other. Yes. One. So, so how might then satisfy do, one person might not satisfy right, the other. Right. So one. how then do you say you have provided equally for both of them or for no, no, three of them or of four of not. them? So and then we also have jealousy, rivalry going on either amongst the wives or the children. Uh, yes. And then you know uh, the wives trying to pitch the children against each other. Mm -hmm. You know and all that. It actually happens a whole lot. And this is the reason why I think even in Islam, a lot of men do not want to marry. More more than one wife mm. because of the stress that actually comes mm. with it in most cases. Mm. Meanwhile, you actually have people who are living happily with right. four wives. I mm. saw a lady who actually posted a video of uh, her and her co-wives going out having lunch You know, this issue with polygamy, I don't think it's a one-size-fits-all, right? Because there are some families who enjoy polygamy. Yeah. Because there are many oh, wives and then yes. it's a big family, a large family. The man can provide for all the children, all the wives, and they live in harmony, right? Mm. Oh, oh already? we already have oh, a caller. On. Wow, yeah, I'm sure you can't wait to, to, to have your say. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us. What's your name and where are you calling from? I want to contribute to this, your program. Yes, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Adiwali by name. I'm calling from Zafarati. All right, uh, go ahead, Adiwali. The polygamy is something that is welcome in Islam. Okay. Yes, go ahead. We can hear you. Polygamy is one of uh, recommendations from our creator. 
look i think you should move away from your tv set but it looks like we're hearing you and we can hear you in the background again so for us to have a proper conversation you'll have to move away from your television set so that you can hear us and then we can hear you uh smoothly okay so we've lost that call but we can continue to talk about this polygamy and, and then it's something that has become um acceptable even you did talk about how Christianity frowns at it. Mm -hmm. But we now see Christians these days. You talked about the entertainment uh, industry exactly. earlier. We now see how Christians are. Okay. We have another caller waiting on the line. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Hello. Hello. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling us from? I'm Venerable CJ Okongo from Yola. Okay. Welcome to the program. Let's have your contribution. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead with what you have to say about polygamy. Okay. All right. I don't think, please, uh, when you're calling us, please make sure to either turn down the volume on your TV set or move away from it because mm -hmm. we're talking to you. So please use your phones. Don't use your TV because there's uh, actually a slight delay when you're using your TV. Okay. So we might not be in sync. So please make sure you move away or turn it down or even turn it off. Okay. Can you, All right, can so, you not hear me? Yes, we, we can, can hear you. you. Hello. Right? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Hello. Hello, America. We can hear you. Please go ahead with yeah. your contribution. I'm back. Go ahead with your contribution, please. Yes, I can say polygamy is a man's way of marriage, not God's own way of marriage. Oh, okay. Can, can you hear me? Yes. So polygamy is not from God, it's from man. Out of man, a lustful desire that man move from one, two, three, and so on and so forth. It's not from God. The program of God for man is one man, one woman. That is husband and wife. One man, one woman. Any other thing is not of God. It's just out of man's own lustful desire that we now have it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you thank so you. much for your contribution. Mm. Like you said, it's mm. not us far. It's not mm. one size fits all. Right. So, you know, people and I think this scholar is speaking from well. her, his um, religious orientation. I mean, the, uh, being a Christian, right? And then he's saying, according to the teachings of Christianity, right, that it's one man, one woman, but it's different in Islam. So. Okay. All right, so uh, let's uh, please make sure you send in your messages. Uh, the number is actually displayed on the screen. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, please, can you speak up? Your voice is really, really low. Okay. We can't really hear what he's saying. Uh, I think he probably has a an issue with his uh, phone so please uh, mm. call us back okay hello good morning welcome to daybreak extra what's your name and location good morning hello hello good morning yes what's your name and location yeah you're speaking to professor samson calling from major state all right uh, professor samson you're welcome mm. to the show please let's have your take on polygamy and the do's and don'ts. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, go ahead with your contribution. The benefits and the benefits as well. Okay. I want to concur with the, what Dr. Okonkwo said. Okay. Regarding the government. Yeah, please go ahead. Are you, are you with me? Yes, go ahead, please, uh, Professor. Uh, it's... It, it's not just ideal and it's not possible for one to give them the equal love which they deserve in the polygamy. So for you not to be able, for you not to have a chaos in the home, in the aspect of not being able to meet their desire and their expectation equally, just as you have said earlier, just as your colleague said rightly earlier, you cannot meet their needs equally. So for it not to even bring chaos, because definitely envy and jealousy and all sort of things might come up in the sense that there must be 
uh, you you will be given more attention to the others, and which others will also feel that they are not being given more attention, and it's going to affect either the family in one way or the other. The children might also feel uh, the daddy is giving more attention to the other, and others will not be seen. So for you to be able to maintain your home properly, I think polygamy is not the best in our society. Coupled with the fact that things are not just too productable for everybody to condo. So I would suggest and advise if there's a way it can be managed for one to reduce that rate of even going more than one and even four. All right. Thank you so much uh, for calling, Professor Samson. Really appreciate your contribution on this. Hmm. All right. Well, you know, um, you know, the thing is, you talked about uh, uh, the, some, of, some of the men not actually loving their wives equally, mm. right? And I think uh, even in most cases, if it comes to, if the, if the religion, if the holy book actually says this is what should happen, mm. why is it difficult for some of the women, actually the first wives, to actually accept that the man wants to marry another wife or is taking in another uh, wife? Sometimes I don't think it's acceptability, okay? Well, we have a caller on the line. Uh, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling us good from? Morning, uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, good morning. What's your name and your location, please? My name is Ibrahim. I'm calling from Australia. Okay, let us have your contribution about polygamy. What's your take? Uh, my take is that uh, polygamy reduces uh, the abandon population of the women that we have in our society today. Okay. Today, if you look at the whole world, from India to U.S., the population of women over 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 that of men. Okay. If every man is to marry one woman, we have millions of women without husband. What is the solution to that? Okay. And second, and secondly, please let's quote a, a relevant verse from the Holy Scripture that okay. says, "One man, one woman." Because we have heard from I have from many of my friends. That as for polygamy, the Holy Bible did not say anything about it. Okay. Uh, it was a it was a poor suggestion. So I want a, a learned Christian to please quote a verse in the Bible that said, "Marry only one wife." Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to hear that from our contributors. Okay. And right. uh, most of people that yes, most of people that marry one wife, they have concubine outside. Mm, okay. You see, imagine Touché. which is worse than to work at home. It means that one woman has to say, why do you have concubine outside? Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your contribution. And if we're drawing from what he just said, I think he's talking about how polygamy helps to curb the population of women. Yeah, the ratio of women to men is actually, you know, like four to one. We actually right. know that mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. But how is that curbing? Because a lot of women these days, they just marry because they want to... You know, they Have don't children. want to stay single or they want to, you know, yes. And they don't, you know, when it comes to marriage, they, there's a lot that actually goes into making a marriage work. So, but when you go into it with the mindset of, oh, I'm old, my biological clock is ticking, Take let me just yeah. get married mm. and everything. Even if I'm the tenth wife, I don't mind. Mm. You know, it causes a lot of issues. Mm. Okay. All right. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. What's your name and location? I'm Usman Samtrak, you're calling from Yola, Adam Alfred. Okay. All right, uh, it's good to have you on the show, uh, Usman. All right, so let's good, uh, have good, your contribution. Good, good morning, Utena, and the uh, uh, colleagues there. Aisha, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I, will, I will call you from the hospital. Yes, sir. Hello? Uh, my, contrib my, hello. Uh, my contribution today is uh, the polygamy, uh, though Islamically it's allowed. Okay. But uh, the reality of today, Honestly speaking, will make it even impossible for somebody to even get one wife, unless of married four wives in Islam. Okay. But though it is allowed. But at least the men, we the men, we should try it, uh, and get away this uh, women from the street. Because your population, women population is higher than men. To this, I took the statistics recently. The, the number of women in a, in a household doubles that of men. So if we didn't marry this woman, how, what, what, would it, what would they do? <laughs> Definitely, marry, not marrying this wife, this lady will uh, lead to a very social ease that maybe at the end of the day, 
we will be getting illegitimate sons or daughters in the street. So though it is, a, it is, a, it is, a, it is a advisable, uh, like you will make mention in, in Christian faith, that uh, is, is man is a to marry one wife. Honestly, honestly, the level of women in the state have numbered that of men. So at least uh, if it's not uh, scripturally captured by, uh, by the Bible, I think the pastors and the evangelists should strive and be uh, preaching on Sundays for men to marry more than one wife. Oh my goodness! Men. Well, we we can't just yeah. up and change the scriptures, you know, because it it, yeah, it yeah, fits well, us yeah, just like that. Because, uh, you know, the thing is uh, the level of the, the the level of unmarried women on the street is buff is buffling. Yeah, buff but but but, but uh, when you're talking about that, I don't think the problem. Mm -hmm has to do with, uh, you know, all uh, the ratio of men to women. I think, you, you, have you forgotten that we're actually in a world where we have men that, that are attracted to men? Right. Yes. So how do you expect the woman to actually get married mm -hmm. when there's a competition out there? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So there's a lot going on in the society, and it's not just about, you know, uh, uh, the ratio of men to women. Mm -hmm. I believe everyone has his person. Right. Every man has his wife. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Or wives, in some cases. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Mm. Okay, so let's go over to WhatsApp messages now. Uh, we have the first message here. Good morning, anchors. My name is Olari Waju Abdurrahim from Kwara State. Well, polygamy is not something bad, but the inequality of the husband is what makes it difficult to practice. So it is better to stay away from it and focus on one wife. That is my submission. So this is um, Alari Waju Abdurrahim from Kwara State. He's saying uh, there is nothing, something bad with, uh, but the inequality of the husband. That's what makes it difficult. Mm. All right. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and pick another call. Hello. Good morning and welcome. What's your name and location? Hello, please, can you speak up? We can barely hear what you're saying. All right, so you're welcome. Yes, let's have your contribution. I think he needs to turn uh, down the volume of his TV. Please turn down the volume of the TV. We can actually hear feedback. We're getting feedback. Mm. Uh, the matter of the heart matters much. So... Okay. Right. We actually lost that call. Mm. And, you know, let's not even forget, even the rich people, mm, even the elites that actually have uh, more than, more than one, one wife, mm. you know, they also have issues. So it depends on, on the family. We don't, have you forgotten the, the, what do you call it, the display that actually happened during the oath-taking ceremony of the National uh, Assembly? Right. Exactly. With the, the, the speaker, right? Exactly. So, mm. all right, let's go ahead and take more messages. We actually have uh, one other one here. It says, good morning, Trust TV. I see no problem with polygamy in the sense that the husband can provide all it takes for the family Islamically one must have the resources for engaging himself in polygamy being a polygamist is far far better than cheating on your wife and that's from umar adam umar from kaduna but being a polygamist what stops you from cheating on your wives at mm. the same time do you understand okay. what i'm saying i think we'll come back to this message because i actually like the point this yeah, person yeah. made but then a lot of them still have wives mm. and what still cheat mm. all right Please move away from your radio, from your TV. <laughs> Can you turn down the volume on your TV for us? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's morning. your name and location? My name is Abubakar. I'm calling from Zaria. Okay. So actually my contribution on this uh, show today is actually a matter of justice. I don't think a man can actually attend the equality here because everybody have what he loves and i think love is different you cannot just love two people the same i mean but if at all you can do justice then i guess it's actually everything actually so that's just my contribution but 
But the is actually good because uh, it has its own advantages and also some disadvantages as well. I'm also from a family of the uh, Polygon. Oh, I it's good that you're from a family that it. you're from a polygamous background. Tell us the advantages you have seen, experienced all your life as someone from a polygamous home. Yeah, actually, uh, my family, some, sometimes actually my brothers, actually, you know, the ones that pay for my school fees, do a lot of stuff like that. that even my dad do not have to just go and find money for my own spendings and other things. I'm a student. And my uh, stepbrother here, it's not even my own, uh, but let me just say, like, we're not the same mom, the same uh, this thing, but he takes care of me very well, actually. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I think we should just go for, even this kind of reason. And when it comes to the house, we want to do something for the family. Actually, we put our head together, put our head together and help the family. The family is just growing every day. So actually, it's a good thing. If, if at all, if at all, the family will stay in harmony. Thank you so much for your contribution. I guess that's one of the perks of uh, polygamy this yeah, morning. If you have, don't know, they're, they're actually good polygamous mm -hmm, homes, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but so it's not in all sense bad. Mm -hmm. It's not entirely bad, right? According to that caller. No, he said uh, due to the number of children, so he had siblings, or he has siblings People that are paying his school fees. They, did not, they do not help. share the same mother. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Uh, you said you wanted to go back to the previous message. Yes. The person talked about um, how... Um, okay. Okay. He did say um, into... Uh, before, okay, you have to have, uh, he said it takes for the, the family, Islamically, Islamically, one must have resources before engaging himself into polygamy. Being a polygamist is far, far better than cheating on your wife. I know earlier you talked about the fact that even some people who practice polygamy, they still cheat on their wife. But then I also want you to know that polygamy is also another way of curbing cheating. Because it, that, I think that is one of the main aims why Islam says you can go for four wives. Let's say your first wife is, say, dark-skinned and then she's tall. Mm -hmm. And then maybe somehow you have preference for someone who's light-skinned and then she's, so she's you, short. You so you can add that as a second wife. So, so let's say you go about four of them like that and then you have the resources and you can ensure equity amongst the four of them. I think that's one way to say, okay, you've, you have four already. You should stop there and then you don't have to look out. Well, okay. okay, so let's go back to WhatsApp. We're still taking your messages. We have this one. Uh, he says, good morning, ladies of Trust TV. My name is James Robert from McCurdy, Benue State. It is a very common experience that discriminative behavior of the husbands and unequal treatment with their wives causes several mental health issues in polygamous families. These are jealousy, poor marital satisfaction, unhealthy competition, lack of trust, and many other mental health problems. I can't help but uh, think maybe this particular uh, writer, uh, James Robert, maybe I think he's speaking from a personal experience. I think so too. I actually feel that way. Mm. Okay, uh, we have uh, more messages coming in, but feel free to actually send them. All right, we have a caller. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm uh, Mohammed from Niger State. All right, you're welcome to the show, Mohammed. Please let's have your contribution. Yes, the issue of uh, polygamy, I want you people to understand very well. Despite that, it has been allowed by God in Islam. God said, marry two, three, four. If you cannot afford, take one. I hope you are hearing me. Yes, yes we can hear you. Yes. Now, if you look at two of you there now, <laughs> you are not equal. <laughs> eh? And uh, if I have to take 10 of such of you, it's very possible. What I want you to advise the woman is not, there is no way a man can treat women equally. Okay. But for me now, if two of you are in my house now, <laughs> I know how to, I, I know how to handle well, each of you. I know what you can You just contradicted yourself. You just contradicted yourself. You know. Are you me? <laughs> so there are women that can even, if men, if women, if, men, if, men, if God permit 10, there are women that can stay. Okay. They advise the women to be skillful. Okay. 
Oh. They should not rely on women 100%. But a man should be such that you should know that women are not equal. Okay. You can see that God created you people for one tall, short, <laughs> eh, fat, and lean. God <laughs> selected that for <laughs> us. <laughs> are you hearing me? Yes, so sir. for that, there is no way from your words that you cannot be treated equal. But it's left for the man to know who is this, who is that. And even in terms of provisions, you know, you give money. Hey, I have 10 naira. Okay, share it into two. I have 20 naira. Share it into two. So that is what we mean by equality. But you can't say, I am going to provide equal things for women. So women are not the same. Men are not the same. But at least let it be known to me that you there is different this one is different but all of you outside you are all my wife inside the room you know you should do as if you are the only one that is how is it okay. and if you know even in christianity somebody have said it there is no quotation in bible that say marry wife is matter of suggestion but i want to tell you that that uh, there are women that even if god say marry 20 you can they can stay because they are not they are not liabilities so you don't like, keep your children to be like, let them be skillful, let them be educated, let's so that whatever environment they find themselves, they don't wait for me 100%. Thank you very much. All right, thank mm. you so thank much. Thank you so much. About, uh, uh, really, mm. <laughs> really interesting I think if I, if, if I get him correctly, he's saying uh, we have, okay, as a woman married to a man uh, who has other wives, for you not to have that jealousy and all that attention that you're seeking, you should be skillful. Okay, you should have other things going on for you, rather, for you, than, you know, rather than on your husband. Right. Yes, and then the husband needs mm. to uh, try as much as he can as well to to love them equally mm. or love them in their own you way. You know they say, so and I don't mind, them, is a devil's if you workshop, love them right? in their own way, mm -hmm. then you have to understand them first, mm. their differences. Right. So when loving them in their own way would mean loving them equally because you're you're attending to their needs. Needs, their equal, yes. Their specific needs. needs so right. It's very important. And it actually takes a very, very intelligent And then also in that. raising children from these wives too. I think the man has to also put it in mind and, and then have, the women too. And he has his work cut out for him. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. He has right. a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this segment. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have our guests here. Stick around.